Terrible things started happening when you walked away. So that's why I stay ready. Yay! Yay! All of my dreams. This is really hard to see, but I did not realize that this fabric was going to be on. You guys, breaking news. I just got a notification. I got my first sale on TikTok, baby! Good things are happening. I just got an email from a university near me that um, I had applied to work with their admissions team, and I had an email from... A background check company saying that they were hired to do a background check on me so I had to do a couple things on there um, but that's a really good sign because I think that cost them money so they're not gonna do that on just anyone really hoping I get it because if I get that job um, it's remote so I can work from home and it would essentially just be me uh, reading through applications as they come in and it would be like a year-round thing, but majority of it would be like fall and winter because that's typically when you get the admissions um, applications with like early decision and blah, blah, blah. And it's just, it'd be nice side money and we need that. Um, I do not deserve to complain about money because I haven't talked about this before. Actually, I don't even want to talk about this because um, I know my mom watches these sometimes and I haven't told her doesn't matter, but I was offered a counseling job um, nearby and I declined it. And that's why I do not deserve to complain about money because I had every opportunity to be in a good spot and I said no because I have other plans for myself and I'm really hoping they pan out. So I'm going to invest in myself <laughs> with the no money that I have, we have, I guess, and um, really hope it works. But yeah, this job would just be, um, they want at least 15 hours a week. It's part-time, so it'd probably be like 15 to 20 hours a week. And I can, I even thought about, because I have the YMCA, they have Child Watch, and you could do it, there's two hours you can do in the morning, then two hours I can do in the afternoon. If I like take them in the morning and do, in their office like work just during the child watch like it's basically free babysitting and then later at night I can go to my um, local YMCA and then actually get my workout in like that could be good or I can just do the applications during um, his naps so I, I just can't do them when he's like awake and around me because I cannot focus and I I need to focus to be able to do that especially when it comes to like a decision of can this person get into the university or not? Like that's not something I want to be distracted with. So I think that's my plan. I'm excited if that works out. It's not going to be like um, life changing money, but it's going to be a good like grocery bill money. And that's honestly all like that's what my husband and I talked about. As long as I can make enough money to where um, we don't have to worry about groceries and we don't have to keep pulling out of our savings, which is what we've been doing and we're dwindling um that would be perfect and then I probably will go depending how the chunky V goes um I don't know I probably will end up going back to counseling though at some point I just like the idea of sending him to daycare and I don't I honestly that's a decision I'm not making right now and I can't because the school year has started and it doesn't matter because I don't have a counseling job. All right, so B is sleeping, but he's been awful this week at naps because I think he is sick as well. So I don't know how much time I have until he wakes up. Um, on a good day, I'd have another hour, but lately I probably have like 15 minutes. I did get my uh, heat press out. So I think my plan is I have seven shirts left to heat press out of all my transfers. I do have some in the mail that I'll be doing later this week once that comes, but that hasn't even shipped yet. Um, but these are the ones that's like physically in my house I need to do. I have seven. So I'm going to do that. I don't know why I put up ten fingers. I have um, seven. I had to count that. Yeah, I should not be reading applications. 
<laughs> um, no, I need to do that and then um, I may start bagging, no, mm, heat press for sure because it's out. I need to plug that in and then I need to put the organizer up and then that's not going to happen today because it's already a pipe dream. Um, after that, I'm going to tag and bag products and <laughs> I need to make little stickers for my thermal printer that have my logo and then the size on it so that I can see it without opening the bag. All right, let's do this. <laughs> Terrible things started happening when you walked away. So that's why I stay right here. Cause when all of my dreams seem so out of reach, you're crystal clear. You don't disappear, baby. No. show you guys how important the second press is where you put the um, I think it's called Teflon or parchment paper on top of it is because when you have really fine detailed edges when you take the um, sheet off some of them will kind of pop up and that second press just like bonds it to the shirt so I'll show you the difference of like you can see a few of the um, edges looking like they want to pop a little bit and here it is right off the second press. You can see every single edge is now bonded to the shirt and there are no issues whatsoever with it. I know when I did my first press and I was taking the sheet off, I was like, oh my God, I just spent so much money and like it's not even working. And then you do the second press and it's like, oh, like these corners actually now are glued down essentially. <laughs> so. Just that I would share that for anyone that is new to pressing too. Off camera, I just finished up a sweater and a tote bag. And I wanted to show you some, this is the first like screen print that has not worked for me, which is fine. So like when I ordered a couple, I ordered a couple designs from small businesses on Etsy. And then I ordered some designs that were mine from businesses on Etsy, like gang sheets that have my like designs on them. It's so, like I bought like almost a hundred dollars worth from one girl. And she sent me um, an extra one, but it looked like it had been accidentally stuck to one of the ones I ordered so I don't know for sure if she meant to send it to me or not I'm hoping she did because I'll feel guilty if she didn't um, because that's just like be like taking money from her and one of the sheets though that I had ordered was messed up that I could not use so I kind of like mentally was like I'm not gonna say anything because one I got him for a really good deal anyways like if one's messed up like that's not worth me reaching out to like get it replaced but two and like my brain, I'm like, well, that kind of counteract, counter, acts, counter, I don't, what am I, what am I even trying to say? Um, it kind of replaces it. So I'll show you. She sent, I think on accident, but I'm not sure. Maybe it was just like a freebie because I ordered so much. This one where it says ghouls just want to have fun. So I just had one of it. So I went ahead and just put it on a sweater and I think it looks really cute. I thought that it was gonna be a complete like throwaway because I did not realize I had the two sheets within Max, my orange kitty's um, sight, and he had actually bit all around the top of the film and he had bit into this L like right at the top. But when I screen printed it, like there's no proof that it was ever like semi a concern. So I'm thankful. This is the one that um, got messed up. So this is my my um, ash sweater that says um, let's go ghouls. So it said like let's 
go ghouls underneath the let's go one of the letters was completely messed up where i couldn't use it so i just cut around that and i cut around the bottom and then i just put the ghost on this little tote bag but this was really hard to screen print. i did not realize that this fabric was going to be hard because i don't know so like look the bat his wing did not come off and I spent a good amount of time, like I put extra heat, almost twice the amount of heat on this one because I did not know how well it would adhere to it. So that's a little sad. The point is I'm going to put both of these in when I go to a market. I'll probably just put him on sale for like, I don't know, like six bucks just to make up the money for the print and the bag and then add like a dollar in or something for profit. And then um, this one will just go with my other ones because if I'm at a market, I don't have to have a big stock of like the same things. I can just sell like a one-off like this or I can just keep it and I've not decided. I just put this together, as you guys saw. Is it the most sturdy thing? No. Would I put like heavy things on it? No. But will it work for a shirt? It's a million percent. Like this is perfect. It's a very, very, um, it's like vinyl almost uh, in material. It might be vinyl. I don't know. But it's, it's good. Like I said, I wouldn't put like candles or anything in. I mean, I guess you could technically put candles in here. Um, but I'm using it for my sweaters and shirts and it will be perfect for it. And it was inexpensive and it's gonna be very helpful for me. So I am very happy with this. I think I got it, it was like $32 on Amazon. It also came with a very fun mallet, which I did not use, but um, I think I might hang on to this guy just to mess with Randall a little bit. It shows in the photo that you could stick this on the side. Okay, yeah. As an extra storage piece. Love that. Ooh, that'd be perfect for my tote bags. I'm so excited. And if you guys didn't see, Asher decided he wanted to walk today. He's never taken like steps or anything. He's 15 months and he's like, I'm walking. And so I'll insert that footage because it's adorable. I'm so excited. I'm going to surprise Randy because he doesn't know yet. I didn't like text him or anything because he's at work um, that he walked. So I want him to walk to him tonight. And I do believe he's going to. So I'm excited. I want to somehow film it without like him knowing I'm filming it. Because if I film it, he gets really awkward with the camera. So I don't want to, I don't want to like ruin that like impression. So I, I might not actually. Did you poop? Okay, we have to go. <laughs> you guys, breaking news. I just got a notification. I got my first sale on TikTok, 
baby. We gotta be walking. I got my first sale. Ah, things are well, things are well. And I don't know the person. I was expecting it to be someone I knew. Well, I might know them. I'm wondering if it's someone from YouTube. Doesn't matter. I love them. I will share with you um, the packing, the order, and share their name. So if they are YouTube, on here. Say hi, and <laughs> we'll say hi back, and I'm so excited. And also, another breaking news. No, I don't have another breaking news. I think I already shared everything with you. I was gonna tell you about the job, but I already did that. So, um, I don't have the job yet, FYI, so. I will update you once I know. But the background check, got the email saying it was clear, which I knew it would be, I wasn't worried about it. Uh, so, step one, complete. And tomorrow I'm gonna pack the order. Cause tonight I'm gonna get my stickers ready so that I can do it all simultaneously and do like a TikTok video for it too. I'm so excited. Whew. Day two was a success. We got an order, our first order. Okay, come here. Look at that, look at that, that's you. You can walk, you can walk. Happy September. Today, the only thing I need to do, like I need to do, is ship out my order. Um, because obviously it was placed yesterday, you guys saw that, um, like last night. <laughs> I don't absolutely have to do this, but I wanted to print out um, my stickers and I made some rough drafts uh, not rough drafts like I did my first print ever with my thermal printer and they don't look awesome but I wanted to put the size on it and it's on my Canva where I made the size tags and Canva's not working so like literally the only thing I need to do today I can't do what I wanted to do but it doesn't matter like the size is on the sweatshirt itself I just wanted to make it a little like more professional and that way I could start um bagging and sizing my bags that the clothes go in today too to start organizing since I have my organizer done. So anywho, I just wanted to update you. I am hoping it comes back online soon and I can just do it. But if not, no matter what, once my baby goes down for his nap, I'm doing my package video because I need it to be quiet so I can do an ASMR version. And I can only do that when he is sleeping because he is a noisy little bee because he's obviously a little one and I can't just tell him to uh, be quiet for a few seconds. <laughs> and he's coming. So, all right, I will uh, update you and let you know what's happening soon. back from our walk uh, we dropped the package off success I don't know how long I have because my camera disc is out of space which means I need to edit and upload a vlog that's what that means um, but we're very lucky and fortunate that we live within a mile of a blue box to drop off packages um, at least packages that are within reason of size because it's one of the pull down things um, which gives us maybe like five inch room to stuff it in. I did <laughs> run across, I didn't have a scale when I put in the um, weights, but I, I was like 
thinking that I had a pretty good judge and I thought I went above what the weight is of the sweater to ship out so like when you put it in it calculates the price. Um, the scale just got delivered and I had already packed it up and already had the um, label printed out and it's like half a pound over what I had on there. So I know I've done it on Etsy before, they will just, at least Etsy, just charge me um, how much of a price difference is probably gonna be like maybe a dollar difference. I'm hoping TikTok is the same. I guess I'll find out. Um, USPS will still ship it and like deliver it to April, which is who bought my first item. Thank you, April. If you came from YouTube, I don't know. If you came from TikTok, I'm not sure either, but I'll say thank you on both. Um, <laughs> she'll still get it, no problem. I just know on my end, there's gonna be some kind of like thing so I'll let you guys know how that turns out I did update I did get the job with the university that I was telling you guys about um with the like, admissions which is weird because I never had an interview like I just had a phone call saying like confirming that I would be willing to spend at least 15 hours a week um doing it and which I was like yeah because it's at Ritz remote I can easily do 15 hours a week during his naps at nighttime. Um, during the weekends uh, when my mom comes over or Randy's home to like watch him like <coughs> absolutely I'll do 15 um, hours and so I already have my acceptance signed and everything from them so um, I don't know why he's doing that so yay I, that was the easiest job I've ever gotten I guess I still had to obviously like upload a resume and, resume and um, do a cover letter but like that was it so yeah um, we're really hot and sweaty because I didn't realize how hot it was outside and so we just made a, um, a long walk and on those walks I just walk as long as he'll let me. So um, I'm hot, he's hot, I'm feeding him now and then I'm going to go ahead and start shower time and get us both in our PJs and we're just going to relax the rest of the night. So I'll start filming, it, or not filming, editing the next vlog and hopefully that'll be up soon and then this will be in the one afterwards. Or will this be in this one? I don't remember how I organized it. Love you so much and I'll see you soon. Bye!